Welcome to Accurate, the channel of teaching and learning. Accurate, the truth that sets free. Welcome. We thank you for joining us once again today uh, on this channel of learning and the channel of teaching. It is grace of God to find ourselves once again still in one piece. The last uh, other time we looked at uh, a very important subject which today we would want to move on into. There is a teaching that we have done on this channel which is entitled a world of three circles for those who follow this channel i'm sure you could have watched this channel and i was explaining about uh, the three circles uh, as, as, as a revelation that uh, was given uh, to me one of these days and i had to come and share uh, with you exactly <clears throat> what the lord was showing me glory be to jesus so I would want today to continue getting even deeper as I promised in that teaching that I will come by the grace of God that we may come to uh, enter into even deeper portions of that uh, teaching and I'm going today to be looking at uh, uh, the science of doom so today if we realize there is something that is happening in the world today the name the word science nowadays is being spoken with a different meaning than the meaning that we could think that we have known from the beginning now when they say the science there is something that they are talking about which is totally different remember when i spoke about the three circles i explained that the very first circle is the circle of the elites is the circle of those people that know what they are doing is those people that are in the process of trying to control the whole world and they want to move the world to a system of communism. They want to move the world to, a, to the one world uh, uh, administration or one world government, the new world order. And these are people that want to kick the systems of God. They want to shut down anything that has to do with the kingdom of God. And I explained that these people vary from politicians to professionals to uh, uh, ordinary people, business people, um, uh, moneyed people, billionaires millionaires i explained all about that and uh today i am going to be looking into uh, the first circle this very first circle and uh, the kind of science that they have brought in which i am calling the science of doom why i'm calling it science of doom it is because it is science that is towards destruction it is not progressive science it is a science now that is uh, evil whose objective is really to put the world into or rather to turn the world into a world that we have never known and we have never seen ever before glory be to jesus christ so i'm going to take a bible reading just to show us that these are things that are happening today and yet the word of god has already highlighted that these things were going to come to pass in daniel chapter 12 verse 4 the bible reads but you daniel shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end men shall run to and fro and knowledge shall increase may the lord bless the reading of his word when we look at this scripture exactly from the book of daniel you would discover that uh, daniel was one prophet of god who was given so much grace to be shown the things that were going to be happening later in the later times there were things that were going to happen even after Daniel has since departed from the world. And there are visions that he saw and most of those visions are visions that he could not explain. And at this time, uh, he was trying now to find out from the Lord what is the meaning of some of the visions that he had seen. But God had to assure him that, no, no, you don't need to worry about these because these are things that are going to happen at the end of time. And you, Daniel, by that time, you will have gone. You will have departed from the world. You remember I brought a teaching on the uh, the, the structure or the, one of the visions that of Nebuchadnezzar, uh, the five kingdoms of Daniel. Uh, it's a teaching that is also here on this channel. You can go and watch it. Also, it connects to some of these things that we are talking about even today. Glory be to Jesus Christ. 
so i would want to say something especially uh, that this scripture talks about which is very very important which is uh number one to say the words that were given to daniel number one were sealed number two they were supposed to be happening at the end of time which is the time in which we are today and also that uh, in the last days knowledge shall increase so when we talk about in the increase in knowledge this is one of the effects or this is one of the signs that indeed knowledge has increased because now we are seeing the science which we have never seen before being uh, implemented or rather introduced into the whole world glory be to jesus christ this is the science of doom that we are talking about so i would want to simply highlight some of the things that are are being planned today in the scientific uh, world in the scientific uh, uh, environments in the laboratories and uh, and and, and, uh, and uh, experimental uh, processes that are being done but all these when you look at them their purpose now is to fulfill the agenda of the devil we know of originally science being there to improve the lives of people to you know uh, uh, discover things that would save humanity to uh, study diseases and get to find this uh, uh, kind of medication that could be used against such diseases and you know science being used also in, in uh, advancing technology and advancing you know making the life of the human on on, on earth a bit uh, uh, easy and uh, a bit comfortable but now the science has taken a different direction now because there are people that are in this first cycle who have introduced their own science while in the second cycle and the third cycle we still have people who are still practicing science but they are still having the original science and now this science of doom is a step ahead now towards the end towards the coming of the antichrist and as well as towards the implementation of the one world uh, order so there are things that are coming and this world in which we are today we shall never be or rather continue to be as the same world that we have known because there are things that are being planned right now by these scientists of doom and i wanted to highlight some of the things that are being spoken about last time i spoke about the world economic forum when i talked about the three uh, world of three circles and i said as much as people would think that it's uh, issues of economics it's issues of eco uh, 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 issues of uh, you know business that are being uh, discussed there there is a deeper end of what the things are being discussed there it is, it is far from ordinarily economics of the world and you know improving nations and the like it's deeper than that those that are running those things those uh, uh, functions and uh, you know those activities are actually uh, the people of the first circle and i explained last time that others of also of other circles they are also invited they they get there innocently thinking that they are, they are discussing about the ordinary yet there is something that is hidden that is deeper that only very few would know exactly what they are doing glory be to jesus so i would want to explain what science is going to be bringing what science has already begun to introduce in the world today and some of these things they are actually going to be working against humanity they are going to be working against the life or rather the normal life that we have known and the normal life that we are living today glory be to jesus christ number one they are talking about a, a planning of the mind control using sound waves right now they are uh, building up uh, some some engineering some kind of uh, scientific uh, 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 applications that they were they are bringing up where they would want to control the human mind they want to control the all the individuals of the world are going to be under control and they are going to be using sound waves glory be to jesus and these uh, uh, sound waves are going to be controlled by the global elites they are the ones that want to control everybody you see what is going to happen in the new world uh, government or the new world order they would not want anybody to be an independent thinker the idea of being an independent thinker is of, is going to be a thing of the past in the new world uh, order they would want to make sure that the way that you as an individual thinks is not independent you are no longer a free moral agent god has created us and has given us has caused us to be like uh, you know free like uh, in fact we are moral free moral agents according to god god has given us a will 
and God has given us a free choice that we are able to choose what we want or what we don't want. We can even be able to choose whether we want to serve God or we don't want. That is how God has created man. God did not want to create man like a machine. Glory be to Jesus. So that a machine would just operate exactly how it has been instructed. But man had to think on his own. This is what the devil is coming after. He wants to go into that area of the free will that God has given to man as a gift. And he wants to take that away to make sure that any kind of mindset, any thinking framework that happens in anybody who is going to be in the world at the time that they start implementing this shall be controlled from somewhere. Which means nobody will be an independent thinker. People will be just like toys. People will just be like robots because of these sound waves. It's actually, there's a lot actually of information that I can share on this one, which is quite, quite, quite deeper. Glory be to Jesus Christ. So this is part and parcel of uh, the, the programs and the plans and objectives of the World Economic Forum, where they want to have a remote mind control technology. It is actually a, a, a being put into test right now as we are speaking to see how far it can be effective so that these people can uh, uh, control the whole world. This is the first circle. They want to make sure that they control all the other circles and they become the ones that are in charge and on top. Hallelujah. So we also have this idea of mind control going to be turning people into mind controlled slaves. Humans on earth are going to be end up being mind controlled slaves whereby they are going to be slaves because of the way they are thinking because this way is going to be always manipulated. Glory be to Jesus. They are also busy working on uh, trying to control what one sees through mind sound wave inducement. So they want to induce these sound waves so that also they can be controlling what we see. So what you see naturally like you are using your eyes eventually will be manipulated through the, 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 the sound waves that they are inducing in the mind. Of, of people that will happen from and being controlled from very far you won't even know where it is being controlled from you won't even know who it is that is controlling you you just find yourself doing things that you 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 don't understand you just find yourself if they would want everybody to go into one direction everybody will walk into that direction without even thinking twice without even asking themselves why are we going where we are going how come we are all going in this direction or thinking like you know the same and things like that so even what people see, would they still want to control it using these sound waves, the sound wave technology. So they can cause you to see things that are not there. They can cause you to, I, I believe when, when we look even into the book of Revelation, these are some of the things that are going to be happening. Where now there's going to be an image of the beast. It is still believed by other theologians that this image of the beast will be a real image that will be speaking and that will be you know commanding and everybody will be able to see uh, the image of the beast and which means probably it could be this uh, technology that will be used to say everybody will be just wherever you are in your mind you'll just be seeing this uh, this uh, image and this image can be talking to you giving you instructions and you can be obeying so something like that we are yet to learn more as we continue to proceed so there is a lot that is going to be happening this world is uh, turning into a world that we have never known and we shall never know i have quite a lot to talk about but i cannot finish otherwise the whole of my time can finish as i'm still on stage number one but we want to go to point number two point number two they are also introducing pills that contain microchips so there are microchips which are small uh, 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 chips that are supposed to be inserted into nowadays they've already started this there are so many companies especially in the developed nations they've already started putting uh, mi microchips into finger some some they place them between these two these two fingers they place them there uh, some they are placing them there's even technology if you look at uh, uh, what tesla has done elon musk has already started developing a chip that can be attached to the to the human brain to the human mind so that you may not need to have a phone or you may a human being can be seeing everything you can just be thinking and as you think 
you, whatever that you are thinking is related to how maybe even computers operate. So somebody will be turning into some kind of a machine. So these are some of the things that are happening. You can go on Google and Google some of these things that I'm talking about. You will see them. They are all there. Go and find them. So there is this pill that contains a microchip. So you when you take this pill in, in, it has some microchip in it. And then when it dissolves in your stomach, it enters your body. And then you are already now a, a registered to have a chip inside you. And the chips, this is a computer chip. Once it is in your body now, they can be able to control that body from from far through a computer because you are now like a gadget so these are things that are happening so the fda has already approved this pill and pfizer has already developed this pill it is very very sensitive and uh, actually the the ceo of pfizer last time was even talking about it also this pill that has been made and you simply take it like you are taking a pill so what they can do is they can just create a, a, a disease that can uh, or a pandemic and then they would supply the pills and say this is the pill that will help with the pandemic and people would take that and drink and when you take that and drink you are thinking that it is for the sake of a disease that is an outbreak and yet it is not it is actually you are actually taking microchips into your body so this world is so evil just imagine the world that we are living in today and so many people, like I said in the world of three circles, that there are people in the second circle and people in the third circle who are asleep. They don't even know what is happening, including presidents, politicians of many nations, especially in Africa. They don't even know the things that are being planned by these successful and prosperous nations. Because most of these things are being done there. Because they are the people that are highly technological. Though they are the people that are highly developed. Those are the people that are prosperous and rich and they have all the money to do all these scientific studies and scientific uh, 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 researches and they come up with these weird 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 uh, plans that they have against humanity on earth and these are things that like we were reading from the book of daniel that not god said knowledge shall increase in the last days so the, look at where the knowledge is taking us the knowledge instead of uh, taking the world towards a better place but the world is now being taken through the increase in knowledge towards the agenda of the devil which is towards destruction glory be to jesus we want to move on to number three the other third thing that the the science of doom is coming up with are the trekking clothes right now the the the, the industry the clothing industry they are busy working on making sure that all clothes that are going to be manufactured shall be inserted and embedded with some kind of cord and this cord is able to be tracked so if you buy the clothing you can be tracked you can be traced anywhere where you go in the whole world they can be looking at you on the screen of a computer and they can be able to tell where you are what you are doing and everything the whole idea is about control they want to make sure that when they, the elites are running the world in the new world order, they have everybody as a slave. They have everybody uh, subservient, submissive to them. They, have, they want everybody to be known what they do, where they are and everything. And when you look at all this and the whole agenda, the whole agenda is all about worship. Because if you are going to continue worshiping Jesus Christ and they are devil worshippers, they are Freemasons, they are, they are antichrists, you know, they are atheists. Uh, they would want to make sure that they know what you are doing so that because in in the times to come it is going to be very difficult to even freely worship jesus christ because now the world is being turned towards the preparation of the antichrist and the son of perdition towards the uh, 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 the time of the rulership of the of the devil over the world and that's why now god has to come and pick up and rapture his church to take this, this church away from the danger that the world is slowly drifting into as we are speaking right now. So you don't need to miss the rapture. You need to be born again, child of God. Glory be to Jesus Christ. So these are the things that are happening. So they would need di uh, digital passports on clothing where you can be seen where you are going. So these things have already been planned and by 2025, according to their planning, this is supposed to be already happening by 2025. And Microsoft is the one that is already been given this contract and is going to be the one that powers the idea of tracking of humans through the clothing industry. 
and the clothing that has been produced. And I, I, if you remember the very last video that, that we did on this channel, I was talking of satanic doorways and I was talking on the clothing. Can you see how connected these things are? Glory be to Jesus. Like I said, all these things, you can go and Google them and you can find them on the internet. They are there. Number four, the smartphones. They want now uh, smartphones to be, you know, improvised in a greater way. Now we have smartphones that are external gadgets that we hold with our hand and we operate them. But the thing that the science of doom now is busy working on is to make sure that the smartphone is going to be inside your body. So they will literally take the whole software often and insert it inside your, your body, which means you, you don't need now to have a, a handset that you hold externally. You yourself, you are already programmed as a phone. The moment you think of anything, you can send a message to somebody by merely thinking. You can call somebody by merely deciding to call that person without an, any gadget, without any, any external gadget, just through the use of your mind. Can you see how evil that is that is and can you see that exactly these people are going against the original creation of god how god originally created man somebody is coming to say no i want to manipulate what god has done and start to you know adjust the natural creation of god and start to implement and experiment and do things that are funny that is exactly what the devil is seeking to do and he wants to use your body that is why he has to begin by taking away all the rights. You won't have any right to say no. This is why you find that now there is also this, uh, or, or this idea of now people being forced to do things that they don't want. Where people had choices to say, I choose to do this, I choose not to do this. Everyone now is being trained to be forced to do things. So this is the preparation for what is coming because your body will no longer be your body eventually. Somebody will be owning you. It's a pity, it's painful, but true. This is why we are the gospel of truth. This is why we are the channel of truth. We have to say these things. And when you find such a video like this one having been pulled down from YouTube, you must understand why. Because they don't want this information to be given to you. Glory be to Jesus. So by 2030, they are expecting that smartphones must all already be in the body of a, of a human being. This 2022 Davos meeting, Pekka Lundmark, uh, the Nokia uh, CEO, he, he spoke about this and he said smartphones will be implanted into bodies using the 6G technology. Right now we are talking about the 5G technology which is there today, but they are moving on to 6G and there is yet another 7G that is going to be coming. And you need to understand why it will become 7G eventually for the, for the number 7. And I would want to, that one would be a teaching on its own. We are still at five now. We live, we have just left four. There was two, there was three. You see, so they would want to continue to advance. The more that these Gs are improving, the 5G to 6G to 7G, they are becoming more effective to the point that the waves and the technology will be so advanced to the point that they can be able to see every human being who is walking on the surface of the earth because it's a powerful wavelength that is going to be used powerful satellites glory be to jesus christ so the next thing that the world economic forum are planning right now and these signs of doom people are planning very last time uh, there was a, a there's a strategic plan to strip property ownership this is coming property ownership is going to be stripped when nobody is going to be all allowed to own a vehicle, a, a house, a, a, you, you are not going to be allowed to have privacy. Where you are saying, I'm a private citizen, I can have my life privately. This, that is going to be taken away. Nobody is going to be allowed to own land, except those that are in this first circle, which are the global elites, which are these people that are planning all these things. So they want to make sure that the whole world simply becomes a cage of slaves and they alone, the few individuals, will be enjoying their life, having their own houses, mansions, uh, owning uh, their factories and owning private jets, owning uh, property and factories and everything. And that is going to be only for those that are going to be the few uh, 
uh, elected ones, the few chosen ones, those giants that I spoke about the other time. I spoke about them as giants. And I said, these are not going to be f giants physically. They are going to be giants in terms of technology, of uh, ideas, giants in, in money, finances, giant in, giants in businesses, giants in uh, whatever, all these other areas that give them this much influence that they are having over the world. So this is the first circle, and this is what they are planning. And there are so many that do not know that are asleep, who are also getting also part and parcel of these meetings and they don't know what these people are planning but they know what they are doing there is a man called klaus schwab co-founder and the executive chairperson of uh, the world economic forum he said at davos meeting this previous davos meeting of the world economic forum he said the future is built by them that's what he said he says it's us that are building the future and when people are hearing that they would think that is this common language like i said when i talk up talked about the three circles i said they would speak in common language and yet that common language is deeper than what ordinary people would think the ordinary we have come from other circles who are part and parcel of that, that meeting they would think that it is the ordinary future and yet they have their own future that they do understand which is what we are talking about right now glory be to jesus so he declared that the future is in our hands and we are the ones that are shaping the future and that is the future that we the whole world is being drifted into which is not that and it reminds us exactly what daniel chapter 4 verse 30 says when nebuchadnezzar spoke he says the king spoke saying is this is not this great babylon that i have built for a royal dwelling by mighty power and for the honor of my majesty so Nebuchadnezzar was built, he built uh, uh, Babylon in his own ideas, in his own mind, and he, he, he saw its prosperity and he said, I have built this for my honor. This is what these giants are doing. This is what these globalists are doing. This is what these billionaires are planning for you. And you are asleep somewhere and you don't know what is happening out there. Revelation chapter 14 verse 8 the Bible says, and another angel followed, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she has made all nations drink of the wine of, a red, of the wrath of a fornication. So already the Catholic Church has endorsed this. That's why you find that the Pope is running with this World Economic Forum. They are in agreement with everything that is being done. Vatican has endorsed all this. And this part of the, of, the, of the scripture in Revelation chapter 14, you can go and read, read also in Revelation chapter 18. God speaks about these things. And he says the mother of all harlots is talking about a harlot church that is fornicated with the kings of the world. And the kings of the world are these global elites. People need to understand. There is a time that is coming where I'm going to be coming to teach on the book of Revelation. There is a type topic that I'm going to bring, which is called the book of Revelation, sip by sip. So I'm going to be take. We are going to be taking a sip, a sip of the book of Revelation, piece by piece, as we go through it until we get to the end. Don't miss that one. You need to invite some other people that are interested in in the word of God, that want to study, that want to acquire knowledge, to say they must not miss that series. Of the book of Revelation, sip by sip. All these things are written already in that book. We are going to be going sip by sip, taking a sip at, at a time to try and expound and explain and uh, expand on whatever is in that prophetic book, which the Lord gave as a prophecy to the world. Glory be to Jesus Christ. So these are things that are coming to the world in which we are living today, child of God. But we must know that all these that are calling themselves kings and, you know, that want to rule the world, that want to make the world all slaves and they the kings, they should also, what they don't know is that there is Jesus Christ who is the king of kings, the king of the everlasting kingdom, who knows the future. He shall protect his own and he covers his own with his righteousness. Glory be to Jesus. Revelation 3.18 reads, I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire that you may be rich and white garments that you may be clothed that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed and anoint your eyes with eye salve that you may see. Can you see that there are things that I've been talking about which are in this scripture. He's talking about us buying garments, white garments from him. Look at the garments that they want to make which can be used to trace us. 
but there are garments of righteousness that those that follow Christ shall be clothed with. And look at the eyes that shall be seeing things that they want eyes to see. But here he's saying, anoint your eyes with the eye salve that you may see. So he was speaking about this, knowing that a time was coming, a time that is now, that these things are going to be manipulated by those that are being used by the enemy, child of God. And you who has been listening to me today, the world is drifting away into places that we will never know. You need to have Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior. You need to receive Jesus Christ and do not continue to follow this world. This world is going to shock so many people who have loved it. So many people who have joined its activities. So many people who, have, who are running with it. They are going to be disappointed by this world because without them knowing, they are going to just find themselves having been trapped as slaves of some rich people, of some powerful people who are out there. And all that joy, that excitement, and all that zeal of the world shall be gone. Only those that have Christ Jesus as their Lord and Savior shall survive some of these things that are coming. The world is drifting into something else. The signs of doom is out there to get somebody who shall not be wearing the robes and the clothes of righteousness. Child of God, I hope somebody has learned a lot. We still have a lot to learn on this channel. Continue to be with us. As for today, I leave you today in the peace of the Lord. You are blessed. Amen.